back to the Firefish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and welcome to the Absolute Beginners series of guitar tutorials. You're actually joining part way through the series. I'd recommend you do these uh, in order. So I'll put a link in the information section down there to part one so you can start and go through these in order. Uh, see you back here once you've been through the earlier tutorials. Now I was thinking back about the stuff that we've covered in this series so far and the objective of, of this was to get you so established as a guitar player, so covering all the stuff that you basically, I think you need to know. And we've covered all sorts of stuff like playing chords, playing 12 bar blues. In the past few tutorials, we've been looking at um, some things that you can do for your lead playing, things like hammer-ons, pull-offs, string bending, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, this next video or two, I want to talk a little bit more about back to the rhythm side of things and talk about chords. Specifically one type of chord, um, probably if you're playing rock music, it's the most important chord that you'll learn, and arguably it's the most glorious sounding chord of all, particularly if you play it with a, a bit of distortion or overdrive on your amp, because it sounds like this. That is called the power chord, for probably obvious reasons. It's actually quite a simple chord to play, because there's actually two notes in it. Uh, and it's a very simple shape that we can move anywhere on the neck. So let's talk about what's actually in that chord. I'm going to start off with C. We'll play this as in this example in C. So we're going to look for a C on the bottom E string, which is here at the eighth fret. So we'll play that note using our index finger, first finger there, on the eighth fret on the bottom E string. And the second note in this chord is the note that's uh, seven frets up from that uh, that root note. Now seven frets obviously is too big a stretch, but what we can do is go up five frets, so from the eighth uh, fret on the bottom E string to the eighth fret on the A string, and then up another two semitones, two frets, gets us to the tenth fret on the A string, and that G note there. Just to make the chord sound a bit fuller, we can add in a third note, which is actually the root note, C, played an octave higher, which is the 10th fret on the D string. So I have a chord shape that looks like this. Now this is a really useful shape because you can move it around anywhere on the neck. So if we want to play a C, we'll play it with the root note at the 8th fret on the bottom E string. If we want to play a B, we'll take it down to the B, one semitone lower. If we want to play it an A, we'll take it down to the root notes on the fifth fret on the bottom E string. Yeah, so we've got that movable shape. Play that on with any root note on the bottom E string. Because of the way the guitar's tuned though, we can move that around and we use the same shape on the fifth, fourth and third strings. So if we're playing on the uh, eighth fret on the A string, that's an F. Play the same shape, we get an F, a C and an F. So that's an F chord. Move it down semitone. That's an E chord. That's a D chord, and so on. So we've got this shape we can move around where the root note is on either the bottom E string or on the A string. We move up so that the root note's on the, the D string because of the way the guitar's tuned, we need a slightly different shape, and that top note is actually a semitone higher. So rather than the shape looking like this, it looks like this. Same principle applies though, so wherever we play that root note, that's the chord that we're playing. So if we play on this, uh, the, uh, I don't know, the fifth fret on the D string, that's G. So we'll play that shape. That's a G power chord, and we can move that shape on those, uh, on those three strings. And lastly, if we're playing on the top three strings, we've got a shape that looks like this. So if we're playing on the third string, with the G string there, so the 
So let's play the root note of the fifth fret. There's a C. We end up with a chord shape that looks like that. And that's a C power chord on the top three strings. And there's also some uh, variations on that. If you think about taking that shape and using an open string, uh, it's a case of playing something that looks like this. Okay, so that is probably the most important chord that you will learn if you can play rock, heavy metal, anything like that. It's the power chord. So spend a bit of time getting familiar with the, the fingering pattern for that and just playing different chords around the neck. Now you already know some chord progressions like 12 bar blues that we, we learned in some earlier lessons. Think about how you could play that 12 bar blues progression in a given key but using power chords instead and use that as a, as a means of, uh, sorry, as a vehicle for using to practice uh, the power chord shape. Really useful shape and in the next video I'll talk a little bit about how we can actually uh, play that very effectively and come up with some rock rhythms.